We're behind the scenes here at Gordon Beer and uh, to explain to me exactly what we are surrounded by, I've got the general manager of the brewery and restaurant, Matt Swanner. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So what exactly are these called? Um, these are our fermentation vessels. Okay, fermentation vessels. And before we explain to people why we are surrounded in them, for those who have never been to the restaurant before, how would you describe it? I'd say we're a brewery restaurant that's focused not only on craft brews that are brewed right here on site, but also made from scratch food. Okay, so what kinds of food do you find on the menu? You know, it's really pretty eclectic. You'd see uh, a lot of different things that are available. Um, not only the burgers, the french fries and stuff like that, but also a lot of, um, I would say, bold international flavors. I like A lot it. of California cuisine, really kind of tailored to anybody that's coming in, somebody's gonna find something they like. Something for, for everyone. Well, I can imagine being uh, inside New York's largest mall, you probably get people from across the world coming to visit you. Definitely, definitely. You know, central New York, uh, I would say it seems like a big, you know, corridor is the right way to put it. And also a destination because Destiny USA is here now. Right. Hence the name. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's talk about the fermentation vessels. What are they used for apart from ferment fermenting? Obviously. Sure. Yeah. Well, what they're used for is, like you said, fermentation. Um, but we, being that we brew our beer on site, we've yep. got a lot of different equipment here. Um, you'll see a brew kettle and a water tin and also the fermentation vessels. but. Because we lager our beers, we have a special uh, special shaped fermentation vessel, yeah. um, but also we lager and ferment our beers for six weeks. So they all come in here basically after they've gone through the brewing process. Mm -hmm. The yeast is active on the brew for six weeks, right, basically. Um, and after that, we filter and move over to our storage tanks where you get to drink beer that's never seen the light of day, never touched oxygen, and is the freshest quality. Okay, so what does that six week time span, what does that mean in, in terms of taste? In terms of taste, well, what happens in the first two weeks is the actual fermentation process. Yeast act on the sugars and create carbon dioxide and alcohol, which okay. is, of course, the best part, and, um, and also change the flavor of the beer as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the lagering process, allowing it to sit for those additional four weeks, not only allows the yeast to drop out of suspension, mm -hmm. but mellows out the flavors that are in the beer as well. So okay. it's gonna be a lot smoother flavor, a lot more drinkability, I guess, is one of those words that some of those people like to use. Okay. Um, so it's really accessible to everybody. And why are the different shaped vessels necessary? Well, lagering, um, actually, the yeast sit lower in the tank um, because it's done at a colder temperature, ah. whereas ale yeast go higher. So these cones actually allow um, the yeast to drop out of suspension um, and get into the right place after fermentation occurs. Do you have your own brewmaster? We do, we do. Uh, Dave Collins uh, does a great job crafting our five uh, beers that are always on draft. And right now he's actually um, just put a Saison on and also, um, gosh, we have our Summer Brown. And we still have a little bit of Maybach left because we, we made quite a bit and everybody enjoyed it. What's a Saison? Saison is a French style beer. And traditionally, Saison is made with uh, candying sugars and a lot of different spices, but Gordon Beers is a little bit differently, does things differently, and only puts four ingredients in their beers. Um, Why? Well, it goes back to a German purity law called the Reinhardt Shabbat. And basically what that says is you can put th three things originally, but then it was amended to say four. So malted okay. barley, yeast, water, and hops. So what Dave did was he created this Saison that used a specific type of hop from Australia in order to kind of recreate that spicy note that comes from gotcha. um, the spices that are generally added. Okay. Since the Reinhardt Shabbat says we can't add that stuff in, we kind of play with it a little bit. So. Matt, I love it. Thank you very much yeah, for chatting with definitely. us today. Uh, when you uh, plan your trip down to Destiny USA, make sure you set yourself uh, aside some time to enjoy lunch or dinner here at Gordon Beersch, and of course, enjoy one of their homemade lagers.